Hello guys and welcome back to another quick tip tutorial video for Adobe Premiere and today I'm gonna show you how to get a cinematic black bars for your video. It will make your videos look much more cinematic if you're shooting some landscaping or if you want to just make it look like a movie. So without further ado let's go get started and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna have a lot more Adobe Premiere tip tutorial videos soon and I'm actually gonna have a course about Adobe Premiere as well so Stay tuned for that. And if you find this video helpful and interesting, don't forget to click the like button. This is gonna help me a lot to grow my channel. So let's go get started. Let's go. So it's actually pretty easy. First thing you gotta do, you just gotta go ahead and start the Adobe Premiere Pro. I have already started a new project. Then you just gotta find the video that you wanna add to the project. Let's go ahead and add this video right here. And I'm just gonna throw it on the timeline. The second step you gotta do, you gotta add an adjustment layer. For that you gotta click on the new item icon and go click on the adjustment layer. And then it's gonna create the adjustment layer with the exact same resolution and frame rate as the original sequence. So let's go ahead and click OK. Then you gotta go ahead and put the adjustment layer on the timeline as well. And you can spread it over the clip as well. The next thing you gotta do, you gotta go to the FX and you can type crop right here. It's gonna find you the crop effect. And then you just gotta drag it over the adjustment layer. Now we got a crop effect added to the adjustment layer. You can add the crop effect to the clip as well if you would like to do that. But I do suggest adding it to the adjustment layer. This way you can use this adjustment layer to apply to other clips on the timeline as well. So this will make it a lot easier to manipulate with different clips and just apply this adjustment layer over a variety of different clips. But nevertheless, now we're gonna have to apply the black bar effect to the adjustment layer. And for this, you just gotta go ahead and click on the effect control. There is a crop effect. So let's first put it to the beginning of the clip. And for this, you just gotta press home. The next step you gotta do, you gotta apply the keyframes. This way you can animate it and go from like a regular 16 by nine to like 21 by nine slowly. This is really gonna be looking cool. So let's go ahead and click on this clock animation icon on the top and bottom because we need to put some black bars on the top and bottom. So the regular full HD resolution is 1920 by 1080 and this makes an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. It's called the full HD and this is what the most cameras shoot. Or if we're talking about the 4K footage or Ultra HD, it's gonna be 3840 by 2160. So if you wanna make that cinematic look and add the black bars to the top and bottom, you gotta make it to the 21 by nine aspect ratio. So if you do some math, this actually comes down to about 24% less picture vertically, which gives us about 12% from top and bottom. So we're gonna apply 12% on the top and 12% on the bottom. But let's go ahead and move the playhead over for like two seconds. This way we can animate it. And let's put a couple keyframes over here. And now we can apply 12% on the top here. And we can do 12% on the bottom. So now you can see that we got this cinematic look. So if we go to the beginning of the footage now and play it, you can see how that looks like it looks way more cinematic. And for example, if I turn it off right now, it looks like just a regular home footage versus like a really cinematic view. So yeah, this is it guys. This is how it's done. It's pretty simple and straightforward. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll be really happy to help you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash the notification bell and click the like button. This is going to help me a lot to grow my channel. Thank you guys very much for watching and I hope you have a nice day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.